Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Comfort Beach Ambesh, and today I'm back with another offering. So in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how you can easily integrate your PowerPay mobile money API to start accepting mobile money payments from any of the African countries with just a single API. All right. So before we can get started, guys, please kindly make sure that uh, you help, you help, you really help our foundation to grow our foundation which brings in uh, uh creative and intelligent knowledge our foundation which shares uh brilliant and core cool ideas to the people for free yeah kindly make sure that uh, you support us by uh, uh giving us any amount and then we really appreciate your support A big thanks to everyone who to to, to everyone who has contributed yeah all right let's continue with uh, with our video so uh i just recently created the sdk that helps you uh collect funds from uh, powerpay so the first thing you have to do here is you need to make sure that you have a powerpay account okay so if if, if you don't have a powerpay account what you just have to do here is you have to click on get started don't worry the link is already in the description so you don't have to worry about how you're going to access this page and then if you don't have an account here you just have to click on create account and then uh it's a, a very basic uh, account creation form will appear but in my case since i already do have a, an account so what i'm just going to do here is i'm just going to log in i'm just going to log in here okay yeah i'm just going to log in and then if you are in testing uh in testing environment this is where you you have not uh uh, uh was uh, you have not applied for your kyc you just have to click on login this this is only for those users that are still in testing but if you already have that account approved by uh, the power pay uh, team you just have to click on login here and then so for this for this video i'm just going to use the on uh the onboarding onboarding ones and then i'm just going to click the email to create the, i'm just going to log in with my email here yeah okay so i'm just going to choose okay so when you log in, it shows like this. All right. So the first thing you're going to receive, if this is your first time doing this, is it's going when you click that the home page is going to be like this. It would it will require you to uh to submit your company documents or organization documents in order for you guys to go live. But in my case, uh, I have already submitted my documents and uh, I'm 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 ready to go live now. We are going to be you uh using we're going to be doing everything in a testing environment all right so what i'm going to do here first before anything is i'm just going to access my api key api token so we need to generate this api token so i'm just going to click on generate api token and i click yes so here it is all right nice stuff so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to access uh the sdk which i just recently created for php so i'm just going to say search for which levels official okay so which levels official github which levels official github okay so a repository and then it displays uh this repository here which which is which levels power pay sdk and you don't have to worry about this too the link is already in the description Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to download this code straight from uh, GitHub. Yeah, okay. So we give it the word. All right, so uh, it's downloaded. So I'm just I'm just going to uh, copy. I'm just going to copy it into my PHP folder. So the thing here is that um, the thing the, the thing the thing here is that uh, if you're using um, if, if, if you are using uh, XAMPP or XMP or whatever, your starting point would be HTDocs. So if you're using XAMPP, you just have to make sure that you, you paste this 
uh, file into your HT docs folder. But since me, I'm not using example, I'm using a custom server. I'm just going to paste it here since this is my PHP starting endpoint. Yeah. All right. So uh, where is that? We search for it with, with levels power pay SDK. So here we have it. Great. Okay. So uh, let me check if I, if I can access it. So you, you don't have to worry about anything. As long as it's PHP, you're going to, th this file is going to work. Wait, okay, it's not showing. So I'm just, if you're using, if you're using the same method as me, you just have to make sure that the permissions are okay. But for you guys who are using Zamp, I'm sure everything is straightforward. Yeah, so I'm just going to, okay, which levels here, here, here it displays. Okay. 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 So here it displays. Now, so what I'm just going to do here is that uh, I'm going to show you guys how how uh, this this SDK was made, and I'm going to show you how you can collect payments and verify your. Sure. So all right, from so uh. The documentation is clear and straightforward here. All right, so uh, here it is. If you would want to uh, make use of the uh, the SDK, so it goes like this. So first, starts with the requirements. First, you need a PowerPay account followed by the PowerPay API token. Okay, so now uh, you, you look at the configurations. You need to make sure that you configure uh, your PowerPay token as well as your environment. Yeah, so. Also, if you don't make a payment request, you just have to follow these instructions where you just have to create a PowerPay object. And then inside the PowerPay object, you call deposit method. Okay, so when you do so, it prompts for the USSD when you're in live, live mode. Okay, and then here uh, on verify transaction, this is mostly used when you're trying to make sure that uh, the transaction was a success or the other way around. Okay, so uh, let's let's get it done. Let's get it done, Pam. Yeah, let's get it done. Okay, so first I'm going to generate my PowerPay token. So here I'm just I'm going to click on uh, generate token. So it's gener generated here. And then here we put it together here. So I'm just going to press this one. Okay, and then here the environment, I'm just going to leave it sandbox. Okay. So sandbox simply means testing mode. So if, if you're in testing mode, then you just have to go with uh, sandbox. But if you are in live mode and you're ready to start accepting payments and uh, PowerPay has accepted your uh, your application or your submission, then here you can just put live. Okay. So now uh, now that uh, we, are, we have done this, okay. So if we look at uh, the, the documentation here for for this so here what we are doing was this and then now i do have a very simple script inside here which is um uh, starts with index.php here this one is just a form it's just basically a form of which i made like a simple demonstration of how you can use this sdk using these instructions here so i'm just and here we do have ink the ink folder includes the the, the other files like submit.ink.php this is where all the submission on the payments are done and this is where uh, the, the the api requests are made from so if we open submit.ink.php here we are going to find that uh, it's basically making use of a uh, pay power pay deposit like as, as it is uh, mentioned there on the documentation yeah and then uh we also have a uh, success success.php success.php does nothing but to verify our transaction so if the transaction status is pending simply means it's still ongoing so if the transaction uh, return the transaction status returns success it means the transaction was a success otherwise the transaction was rejected okay so uh, that's it and then here this is I'm going to demonstrate through this uh, main entry point of this SDK and how you can uh, make use of uh, this API. So I'm going to refresh my page here. So I'm going to fill in uh, my name with my name, Comfort Chambeshi, email, um, with level 04 at gmail. 
Zambia.com, followed by the country Zambia. Uh, okay. And then the currency, the mobile money operator, uh, Airtel Zambia. So the good part about this script is that if I choose another country, only the uh, the currencies available in that country for mobile money are going to display. There are some countries like the Democratic Republic of the Congo where they do make use of two currencies, uh, CDF and USD. So they just display here. But for for this for this video, I'm just going to use Zambia and then currency ZMW and then I'm going to choose Airtel Zambia and then here you just have to enter your full phone number with the country code like this. Okay, two six. A zero for Zambia, zero two six zero nine seven two nine two seven six seven nine, and then an amount here, let's say hundred, and then payment description. Okay, test, test, test code. Yeah, and then I click continue. We are going to see that uh, uh, it's, it's going to start processing payment. So let's say there is SD prompts now. Okay, transaction process successfully. You have confirmed with your PIN here, and then it redirects to a payment verification page. So transaction successful. So when the transaction is successful, it brings this right over here. And then here, it even returns the data, the data in JSON. You can make use of this data in any way you'd want to, if you don't want to insert it into the database, whatever, as long as uh, you're putting it in good use. All right, guys, before I can close this video, uh, kindly show your support by making a difference by uh, uh, donating any amount to our weekly levels official foundation to allow us to keep on making more videos and sharing free content yeah all right guys all the links are already in the description and see you in the next video cheers